dear welcome to the youtube channel and welcome to the series of a power bi learning with end to end project so in the past videos of a series as you all know we had a discussion regarding from installation to getting a data sets and today we are going to work with the complete end to end restaurant data as well okay now in the past video we going to discussion we had a discussion regarding the stack column chart and the pie chart how we have created these both the charts in here and now in this particular video we will going to explore more visualization options which is available in power bi okay so now what you need to do is see in this particular home tab we have this particular icon we are using a latest version of power bi fine so these are all the visualization options are available in here okay now we will going to explore area chart so this is the line and area chart and the second visual is the area chart in here click on the same once you click on area chart as you can see my pie chart is automatically converted into area chart why is it so there is a major reason behind it because i have clicked on this chart i have clicked on the chart and then i have changed this chart to area chart let's say i want proper pie chart again i'll click on the pie chart in here automatically see it converted into pie chart okay so now if you want to create new visual you need to click on the blank space which is a canvas in here and now if you click on the area chart click on this and we have the area chart in here automatically the interface of the area chart will be created in here now what i want in this area chart is in the x axis as you can see suggested a uh, suggest a type so if i enable it you see that we will have only a data section in here if i click on a data section you will see that i want um suggest suggest a type that means whatever the options you will going to select in here it will automatically take in x axis or a y axis you need to you don't need to do it manually as soon as you click on the area chart just enable this suggest a type that means you don't need to you know uh, get a data in x or y axis manually like if i just enable it just off it you need to select manually like what we need to put in x axis y axis secondary axis or so on i will going to enable it as of now and once you enable it you will see that add data option automatically it will take like you know uh, columns in respective x or y axis if we talk about like we had already a discussion regarding city wise rating and name wise rating okay now what i want is i want a proper cuisine wise rating or a location wise rating anything you can select from here so first of all i want like a cuisine in here proper cuisine and once i selected cuisine i'll add a data and i will gonna add automatically a cuisine wise votes okay so these are all the cuisines in here and these are all the votes respectively as we have enable this option suggest a type that means it will suggest a visualization as well and it will suggest a proper columns like which needs to be in x or y axis but you can change it from here like we have a visual types click on this particular button and from here you can select a visual let's say i want area chart so automatically the area chart will be created in here okay so we have the area chart and we have the proper what we have a proper uh, we have cuisine wise votes as you can see some of votes by cuisine let's say i don't want uh, we have votes in here and uh, we have some of votes i want uh, let's say cost or we can just check out like click on this arrow and i want proper uh some of course i want a proper rating okay so we have a rating in here and if you click on this arrow like in y axis we have aggregation option in here most of the time we don't want always sum we want average we want minimum maximum count count distinct and so on so we have a multiple aggregation options as well in here okay i hope it's clear for you so we have a proper you know a uh, rating wise cuisine as you can see the visual are looking like this which is very unprofessional we can't show the visuals like this as you can see in this visual nothing is understandable okay in that case we don't prefer area chart we can use a proper table visual as well as you can see this is a table visual i clicked on the table visual okay now once i click on a table visual i can see a proper cuisine name and i can see a proper ratings as well 
okay so in that case if the values are very high the values are huge make sure that you use table visuals if i use let's say the donut chart as well okay as you can see this part of the visual we it is very unprofessional and very we can say messy we can't show the visuals like this in a top of report in front of our managers and clients make sure in that case you always use a table visual so that everything will be clear and cleared picture okay as of now i want to explore area chart that's why i click on area chart and area chart as you can see a proper cuisine wise rating in here okay and now what i'll going to do is i will going to use a formatting the same formatting which i did in here so click on sum of rating by name and then click on this brush icon which is format painter once you click on it click on this visual so the complete formatting will be copied and pasted let me do it again and here it here you go which is some of say uh, some of rating by name click on format painter and here it is the same formatting will be copied and pasted using the icon which is format painter okay so this is the option of some of rating or uh, you know by the cuisine in here and if you want you can increase the size of this visual too i'll click on this arrow okay the icon will be visible and click on this and extend it here you go the complete visual will be extended till here so now we have successfully created the three visuals in here and now i want to create one more visual in this particular space okay now what i'll going to do is i will going to try to make uh, some more visuals in here which is let's see now we have a stagnant column chart i want you all you know explore all these visuals which i am not exploring right now as well it's your responsibility to explore all the visuals from here okay so now we have a complete waterfall chart as well we have a tree maps and so on so i want to use tree map in here okay so click on tree map and it is automatically available in here click on this and here is the tree map okay now as soon as you click on tree map you will see that add data i always do suggest a type okay just enable suggest a type automatically you know it will going to suggest you the proper visual options and the proper uh, we can say uh, the column options as well as soon as you click on suggest a type add a data once you add a data so we want proper uh, rating by cuisine name and we have proper rating by cities as well so what is uh, remaining we have location okay so if i click on location in here so we have a different different locations we have proper location that we this is the hotel one this is mg road mall and this is ahmedabad and so on proper locations we have in here rather than location let's try it out locality okay here it is so locality is something which is more precise location is like proper address of this particular restaurant okay location is what particular address of that particular restaurant but the locality is where the the short region it's not a particular we can say the location or a full address it is just a locality like a bandra or andheri or andheri east or bangalore or chandigarh or delhi or so on okay and as per this we want what we want proper rating votes or cost i want to use cost in here okay so this is a proper locality wise cost like south delhi south bangalore gurgaon and so on it makes sense right this is a proper sum of cost by locality i'll going to extend this as well at the top fine now we want a particular formatting too okay so for doing a formatting what we need to do is just click on sum of rating by cuisine and then click on this brush icon format painter and once you click on it click on this visual which is cost of uh, you know uh, cost by locality in here and we can see clearly that south delhi south bangalore gurgaon and these are all the cost in here as you can see a complete restaurant wise cost i hope it's clear for you all it's a very major and important concept and we can you know convert that millions into thousands as well it's very easy what we need to do in here is click on this visual and click on format and we have a data labels okay data labels are enabled data labels is what like 0.31 0.56 are the data labels but these are all in millions what if i want in thousands in that case i will going to click on more options and once i click on more option 
okay the proper formatting tab will be open and here is the data labels okay expand the data labels from here once you expand the data labels i hope you can see the screen and you expand the option of values inside the data labels we have option of values and here you see that we have display units and in display units i'll click on thousands as soon as i click on thousand you see 560k 360k 306k 296k and so on it convert the whole millions into thousands data labels i hope it's clear for you all it is very important and it inside in the data labels in the values section okay as you are just starting learning power bi you are a beginner in power bi make sure that you always you know check out all the options which is available on the power bi especially in the formatting the more you practice the more you will get expertise on the software the more you do projects the more you will be confident on the particular tool okay so in this video we had a discussion regarding all the five visuals that we have created in here 1 2 3 4 Okay, so we have created all the four visual, and I'll gonna increase the size as well of this visual in here. Mm, okay, this one, right? And increase the size to this. I'll gonna do what? There, there. I don't. I literally don't want any space in here. So just expand it. Yeah. So there is no space. The proper visual is created, and now we have a top. We can say, uh, you know, section which is left in here. So in the top section, what we need to put and what not, that we're going to discuss in the next video of this series. Until then, keep practicing on the Power BI. Make sure that you do everything practically simultaneously with me. Do everything practical so that. you will get 100% confidence on the tool check out the description do subscribe and uh, make sure that uh, be safe and uh, see you in the next session for completing a whole report end to end take care